I'm about to build another Fallout weapon, but first, let's find out how powerful this thing really is. My next project is the Striker from Fallout 4, shooting bowling balls. But first, I want to find out just how much force there is in the power fist that I built that I can break cinder blocks with. So we're going to find out what it takes to break a cinder block. Time to start stacking weight. This is basically how I set the cinder blocks up whenever I broke them before. And I cut a piece of the exact same plate that's on the front of the power fist. And I'm going to balance all the weight on this. I think this is the most accurate way to get me a good reading. I just hope I have enough weight to be able to break it. I'm also going to use this little piece of PVC board to absorb impacts when I set the weights down on top so that momentum doesn't play a factor. Otherwise, the block could break prematurely. First, let's see if it can hold me. Yep, it's got me. Time for weights. Three hundred. I should start lifting these up and putting them back down more often. 400. I'm gonna need more weight. Four ninety. And it's almost off the screen. I need more weight. Every time I come back from getting more weights, I just hope that it's collapsed. But it didn't. All right. Four sixty. 500. By 40. Can you even see that anymore? Change of camera angle since you couldn't see it anymore. What was I at? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 560. All right, this is getting ridiculous. I'm almost out of weight. I don't know what to do. I just weighed myself. I weigh a nice rotund 185 pounds. So even if I pulled some weight off of this and I stood on it, which would I'm scared to do right now because of when this thing breaks, it's gonna fall and then I'll get smashed by a whole bunch of weight. I'd have to keep a ton of this on there for me to make it more than it is now. 185 pounds is to right there. And I don't wanna do that. I guess I'll get more weight. I'm gonna leave this here and hope that it breaks. Here we go. Six hundred and twenty pounds. I don't have any more weights. <gasps> Found some more weights. Good lord. I don't even know how much that is. I need to write down what I was at because I'm forgetting. Six hundred and fifty five pounds. See the problem is I thought that it would break at this point and it hasn't. I looked it up and Conor McGregor can punch 745 pounds. I'm pretty sure that's enough to get through a cinder block. I bet he could break one with a punch. The problem is, how do I get more weight on this? I have an idea. It's gonna be time consuming. I can stack these huge plates of scrap countertop that I was gonna use for a project out in the yard and I didn't use them yet. So I'm gonna weigh those and I'm gonna add them on top and then I'll add the weights and hopefully it'll break. Here we go. 19 pounds, 38 and a half pounds. 37 pounds. Seven oh one. We're 20 pounds over what Conor McGregor can punch. All right, I'm gonna redistribute the weight. 825. 835. I'm out of weight again. We're at 835. Let's see if I give it a little tap. There's only one thing to do, and that's get more blocks. 15 and a half pounds, 13 pounds, 26 and a half, 30 pounds, 31 pounds. Holding strong. We are at 960 even. One thousand. This is getting ridiculous. That's a thousand pounds. And the weight is right on the middle of the cinder block and it still won't break it. Here's a six and a half pound block. See if that breaks the camel's back. Still good. You know it's too much weight when it's getting difficult to get it all in the shot. All right, look, I was bound and determined 
to make this work. No matter what, I was gonna get enough weight on here that that thing broke so that I knew how much force was in the power fist. But if I put any more weight on here, scratch that. I don't even need to put more weight on here. If this thing falls that direction, it's gonna blow through my garage door. It's gonna completely take it out. That means I'd have to set this up somewhere else. And this garage isn't big enough to set this up in without it falling and punching through a wall or destroying something. So I'm just gonna have to be done at a thousand pounds. But there's something else I'm gonna do yet. Wait for this. So much for that experiment. Two cinder blocks. If I can break this, that means I'm putting out over 2,000 whatever pounds of force. Let me turn this. All right, you can see these are identical and there's nothing between the two of them to do that. Martial artists trick to make them easier to break more than one. So here we go. Oh, and little side note, I don't have any CO2 right now, so I'm not even gonna run that. And yeah, I know that it activates after impact, but that just adds an extra 300 pounds of force after the initial impact, which is still a lot. So now, I'm just gonna hit it and we'll see what happens. That's insane, I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. I tried it one time before and it didn't work. So this was pretty awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to catch my whole build series of the Striker from Fallout 4. And I'll see you next time. I almost forgot. I'm gonna be at Sci-Fi Valley Con in Altoona, PA this weekend. Come see me if you wanna learn about thermoplastics. In case you're wondering, that did hurt. There's the marks from when I hit. Because the padding is inside, so your arm does connect with the metal, obviously through the skin right there. But I broke two cinder blocks at once. The excitement was more than the pain.